My name is Curtis Kunik. I live in Akvet, Nunavut, and I'm 28 years old. Akvet is a place where hear people speaking Inupitut, speaking their language. When I first got involved with the project naming with Beth Greenhorn, she asked me to bring some photos back home to show it to my grandparents and see if she could also get more names out of those photos. It's project naming, uh, it's bringing people together, helping the community to get more involved with community events. And we looked at the photos with Martha to uh, see if she could recognize some of the elders in the photo. Library and Archives Canada is the national repository for historical archival collections of national importance and significance. Starting in the mid-1800s after the creation of the camera, Government staff were traveling and, and staying in what is now present-day Nunavut. At that time, it was Northwest Territories. And they were documenting the people they saw, the activities, the daily activities that were happening, where people were living. Sadly, most of the Inuit that are depicted in these pictures were never named. My name is uh, Ita with this Inuit way of pronouncing Peter, Peter Ritnik. I uh, was born uh, on the land in the Niglu, and I lived in the Niglu for the first uh, 11 years of my life until I was taken by the church and the Canadian government to go to a residential school in 1958. During the early part of 2000, uh, I wrote a letter to uh, Jack Anawa, uh, who was a, min a minister uh, of uh, culture, language, elders, and youth. I said, I'm extremely tired of um, um, Southern writers, uh, photographers, and only identifying Inuit as cross-eyed Jack or uh, unidentified Eskimo. I said, we need to start looking at naming people in the photographs because as Inuit, we have name, names too. Collaboration with citizens was and is the only way for project to succeed. In May 2015, it expanded to become uh, a national project to include all Indigenous people. So it really, today it's, it's still largely about creating those conversations with different generations of Indigenous people, but it's also, um, it, it helps support the Government of Canada's uh, role in reconciliation. The other important part was to share these photographic records that have been stored in the vaults for decades and give access back to the community so that they could have this information about this past through their elders and being able to learn about Indigenous peoples I think is just going to make us a richer country and better for it. We have to see this as one of the most important projects in the history of uh, Canada. Uh, it has a past, it has a present, it also has a future. Mm -hmm.